Hey, what's up YouTube? It's Make Potatoes back with another video and today I have a very fun topic to discuss and that is because we're going to be talking about the Big Mom Kaido Alliance and I really wanted to make this video because I wanted to see how well the Big Mom Kaido Alliance would do if they were at Marine Fort instead of Whitebeard. So for example, this is a pre-time skip, this is the, the Marine Fort War and Whitebeard is saving Ace but instead of Whitebeard, it's going to be Big Mom and Kaido and for whatever reason, let's just say they're trying to save Ace and it will be the same scenario, it's just that it's Big Mom and Kaido instead of Whitebeard. Anyways, before we get started, please leave a like and subscribe to the channel, the support would mean so much. Anyways, let's begin. Alright, so starting off, we're going to talk about the Big Mom and Kaido Alliance. Uh, we got two Yonkos. Big Mom, you know, one of the strongest characters who has barely even gotten hurt the whole entire series. Like, she's OP, she one shot a Luffy, she be one shotting people all the time. We got Kaido, he one shot a Luffy as well, and you, you know how OP that dude, like, 1v1, bet on Kaido, man. Like, Big Mom and Kaido, they're like the top five in the, in the verse in terms of strength, in terms of power. So, already, that's, in my opinion, I honestly would say that both Big Mom and Kaido are stronger than Whitebeard at the time that Whitebeard was at the war. And I know you guys might be mad at me for saying this, but it's because Big Mom and Kaido are more so in their primes while Whitebeard was like kind of dying. You know, he was at his old age, like freaking like, like he was on medicine, he was on drugs, man. Like he was like on his last win. Just, just the fact that he was standing there was just a testament to his strength. And the fact that he was able to do so much damage in his old age, that's why Whitebeard is a goat. But in my opinion, I do believe that Big Mom and Kaido are both stronger than Whitebeard in that time because at the end of the day, like bullet wounds and the cannons, they will not hurt Big Mom and Kaido. Like we've seen people shoot them, we've seen Luffy go gear force, whack them in the face, and nothing happened to them. Like they're good. So just by that, we already got basically two Yonko level characters. And I, I, let's just say, just for the sake of argument, that Big Mom and Kaido are the same strength as Whitebeard. I know you guys might hate me for saying that, but. I, I, don't worry, I know Whitebeard is way stronger than him in his prime, like he'd beat both of them, he's like white, he's like gold D-Rider's level. So, how would this battle go? So we got, you know, Big Mom's three sweet commanders, we got Katakuri, Smoothie, Cracker, and we got Kaido's All-Stars, we got King, Queen, and Jack. And on the big players for the Navy, we got Akainu, Aokiji, Kizaru, uh, Garp, Sengoku, the Seven Warlords. And for the Seven Warlords, we got Kuma, Doflamingo, Boa, Gekko Moria. And Jinbei would be in prison because for the same reason why he wasn't at the war fighting for the Navy, he wanted to protect Ace. So in this situation, I would actually say that Jinbei would actually join Big Mom's crew because in this situation, he would try to, let's just say he escaped and fell down for that reason and he's helping Big Mom's crew. So just to get out of the way, let's get the matchup started. So for all of like the 100,000 Navy soldiers, like obviously Big Mom and Kaido have enough manpower to fight against the 100,000 people. Like they got the waiters, pleasurers, gifters, a bunch of random soldiers on Big Mom's crew, the homies. So, you know, I feel like that would be an even battle. Like it, like the, 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 the uh, fodder characters aren't really going to play a major role. The major roles in the story is going to be like the big dogs. So for Garp, Sengoku, and Mihawk, I actually think that they're going to fight Big Mom and Kaido. Okay, so Garp, Sengoku, Mihawk versus Kaido and Big Mom. I feel like that would be a very tough match, but it's just, you know, the big dogs versus the big dogs. And the reason why I put Mihawk in there is because I couldn't think of who Mihawk's uh, opponent would be in this battle because I feel like he could beat everyone by himself besides Kaido and Big Mom in their alliance. So that's why I kind of just put him in there with Garp and Sengoku because I feel like they need that extra backup to take on Kaido and Big Mom. And it'll be kind of like a throwback to the Gods Valley incident. We don't really know what happened there, but it'll be something like that. And then for the three admirals, we got Akainu, Aokiji, Kizadu. And I say that Akainu would fight Katakuri and Jack. You know, I just thought it would be a very cool matchup, like uh, like Brawn and Brawn, strength to strength. Akainu versus Katakuri and Jack. And then for Aokiji, I had him go against Cracker and Queen. I think that would be a very interesting battle. And then Kizaru against King and Smoothie. And I think this would also be an interesting matchup because it would be like an aerial battle because like King could fly and Kizaru could kind of fly, I guess, because he's like light. I have the five vice admirals that were present at the war versus the Toby Ropo. So we got Sasaki, Page One, Who's Who, Black Maria, and Ulti. But the only problem here is that X Drake won't be in this battle. He would probably be helping the Navy because he's a sword agent. So he's gonna, in this situation, he's probably gonna go to the Navy side in this like dire situation. And then for the Warlords, we got Kuma, Doflamingo, Boa, Gekko, Maria. 
And I'm gonna have them fight against Big Mom's children. So Big Mom's children, we got some powerhouses. We got Daifuku, Oven, Perospero, Snack, Tamago, Peckums. And like I said earlier, Jinbei would be joining the battle, so he would also help fight against the Warlords. And in my opinion, like after seeing all these matchups, like these are all the major characters in the game. Like Big Mom and Kaido versus Garp, Sengoku, Miyak. Honestly, this would be such a tough battle. But I'm gonna have to give it to Kaido and Big Mom. Like Kaido is a freaking demon duck you know like he he's like a freaking fish fish fruit and big mom like she is just a tank man she, she ate the soul soul fruit she's on another level and i know it'll be a high def battle but in the end i'm gonna have to give it to kaido and big mom because garp and sengoku are like they're kind of old and they're like garp is almost retired at that point and sengoku is like not in his prime the only one in his prime is mihawk but i don't think mihawk can take kaido or big mom like 1v1 but it's possible if all three of them wor are working together garp and goku and mihawk to defeat them but i'm gonna have to give the edge to kaido and big mom in this battle for akainu versus katakuri and jack it's gonna also be a very tough battle and in this situation i actually think akainu might win i i know uh, it might be like yeah it's gonna be uh, a crazy battle but katakuri will put up a decent fight with jack but at the end of the day, we're talking about Akainu here, and this dude has been a tank. He took a, t a hit from Whitebeard and still survived. Like, I don't know how that dude is still alive. Um, it'll be a crazy battle, but I think Akainu would win in that situation. As for Aokiji versus Kuraker and Queen, I'm going to also have to give it to Aokiji, the Navy, again, because as strong as Kuraker and Queen are, like, Queen's a freaking, like, a Brachiosaurus. Kuraker can, like, create a whole entire army of, like, Krakers soldiers that are really powerful like aokiji i feel like he could just freeze them and just you know kind of destroy them but it would still be a tough battle like aokiji is not getting out of their unscathed and for kizuru versus king and smoothie i'm gonna have to go with kizuru again um kizuru will most likely win against king and smoothie because you know king as, as strong as he is he doesn't seem to be as strong as marco um so it'll be a tough battle but at the end of the day we have to go with kizuru and this is where things get interesting though because for the five admirals for this toby ropo I'm gonna have to give it to Toby Ropo. Like the Toby Ropo have, that we've seen so far, they seem so OP. Like Sasuke, Page One, Who's Who, Black Maria, Ulti, like those dudes, they're all freaking dinosaur ancient zones. Except for Black Maria, you know, she's a spider. But at the end of the day, I'm gonna have to give it to Toby Ropo. So Toby Ropo for the win. And for the Warlords, we got Kuma, Doflamingo, Boa, Gecko Maria versus Big Mom's Children. And I'm gonna actually have to give it to Big Mom's Children in this situation because we got Daifuku, Oven, Perispero, Snack, Tamago, Peckums, Jimbe. Uh, so Kuma, I think he would probably take um, like Daifuku and Oven. Like I think Daifuku and Oven could beat Kuma if they work together. Doflamingo, I would have him fight like Snack and Perispero. And I honestly think that Snack and Perispero could beat Doflamingo. Like Doflamingo is really strong, but we we know that Cracker is most likely stronger than Doflamingo. And Snack is actually one of the sweet commanders on Big Mom's crew. He just got demoted after losing to uh, Mad Aruj. So Snack is a pretty should not be underestimated. And with the help of Perispero, who has like a 700 million berry bounty, first son of Big Mom's. Uh, one of the big mom's first kids like they're op together and i honestly think they could take out Doflamingo. so the problem here lies was boa hancock now and who would take her on and just in the same situation where how she kind of like hit both sides she won't really be taking this battle seriously so it's not like she's gonna really be trying so i don't think she's gonna be a major role and that's why i think like tamago and peckons will kind of just like distract her and for Gekko Maria, like, we, it's gonna be Jinbei versus Gekko Maria, and Jinbei would slaughter Gekko Maria. We've already seen it in the battle. So maybe what I'm thinking is Jinbei would defeat Gekko Maria and then go straight on to fight and help support Pe uh, Tamago and Peckums against Boa. It'll be a crazy battle. So here's what here's the situation. Like, it's gonna be a crazy battle. At the top dogs, we got Kaido and Big Mom. You know, they're gonna defeat Garp, Sengoku, and Mihawk. It's gonna be a high diff battle, but they're gonna win. And then the three Admirals, they're gonna come over on top. But what I'm thinking is this is the, the situation would be completely different if like the uh, Toby Ropo and Big Mom's children, they defeat the five ad admirals and the warlords like relatively uh, quickly, then they could go help support like the commanders to help defeat the admirals. And in that situation, then I think they might actually have a chance. So let's recap. Big Mom and Kaido Alliance. Can they beat the Marines? Can they win Marine Ford? Honestly, it would be such a strange battle because it, it, it's just so much of factors to consider, but at the end of the day, 
they actually have a decent chance. They have a decent chance of beating uh, the Navy. Like, I think that the Big Mom Kaido Alliance would do better than Whitebeard, and they could actually possibly win the war. Like, they could actually defeat the Navy. Like, I, like I said, it could go either way. Because Kaido and Big Mom, they're the top dogs. And if it's the three Admirals plus Garp and Sengoku versus Kaido and Big Mom, then that would be a different story. Because I, I think the three Admirals plus Garp and Sengoku would slaughter Kaido and Big Mom. But not slaughter, but like defeat them like mid diff. Unless the support of their commanders was helping, so this would be an interesting battle. And I plan on making a separate video for like the actual individual battles, how it would go out. But it's just it's just more theoretical and something fun to talk about, just to kind of show you how powerful the Big Mom Kaido Alliance are. And this is who Luffy's crew and the, the alliance that he has this uh, is going against. These are the, Luffy's crew is literally going against like some of the most the most powerful alliance in One Piece history that we know of right now. Anyways, if you guys enjoyed the video, please leave a like and subscribe. I hope you guys enjoyed this, this video. If you do, comment down below what you guys think. Anyways, I'm Maple Tails and I'm headed out.